You're listening to 30 Pounds Down, where losing weight is simplified with healthy habits and your God-given gifts and passion to build a healthy body and lifestyle. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. So if you want to know how to give your body the nutrition it needs to fuel your dreams and to function at its best, you're in the right place. I'm Glenda Hill, a Christian wife and nurse turned holistic nutritionist. I offer you resources and biblical insights to help you lose weight without the fear of regaining the weight back. I share strategies that work and are aligned with God's plan to prosper you in health and life. All right, let's go to the show. Welcome, friends. I'm Glenda Hill, and you're listening to 30 Pounds Down. Today, we're talking about naturally keep the weight off forever. You can maintain your weight forever, and I have an action plan for you. I love the stories of people losing weight simply by eating slower and chewing their food well. I have five ways to naturally keep the weight off forever. And these strategies work. So get your pen and your pad out and get ready to take some notes. Let's start with talking about how mealtime stress is one of the reasons why we eat fast and We don't take the time to chew our foods. Uh, Maybe sometimes we're nervous about the work that we're doing, or sometimes I get anxious about a client interview or some kind of conversation that I need to have with someone. And that anxiety flows into my state of mind when I'm eating. And it could be anything that really is heavy on your heart, causing you to lose joy. It could be that you started the day late and you're frantic and you don't take the time to enjoy breakfast as a gift from God. As funny as it may sound, chewing food well is the natural eating habit you need in your life to maintain weight loss. The scientific explanation is that Chewing your food well and eating slower gives the hormones time to signal the brain that hunger is satisfied so you don't overeat. There's other evidence that people who take time to chew slowly have better digestion and they feel fuller and feel fuller faster and for longer. And I can testify to that personally. Another reason to chew your food well is that it makes more of the nutrients available to the body. When I pay $15 for a superfood salad, I want to get all of the superfood power out of it and I get my money's worth. Now, if you struggle with being calm and relaxed at mealtime, there are many scriptures to meditate on that tell us to be calm, don't worry, and to surrender our anxieties to Jesus. 1 Peter 5, 7, Psalms 94, 16 through 19. And I love Romans 8, 38 and 39. It reminds me that God's love is constant and unstoppable. If I leave things undone and I feel guilty about it, or I've made mistakes that need fixing, Nothing can separate me from the love of God. So I can be comforted by that scripture. I can be comforted by knowing that God loves me in spite of my mistakes. So I don't have to bring that guilt and sadness to my mealtime experience. I can be comforted and keep the joy of the Lord in my heart. So my friend, I promised you five ways to naturally keep weight off. And eating slowly and and chewing your food is the first one. So number two is to practice scripture meditation as a transition activity before you eat. This is an activity that you do before you eat so that you are in the right state of mind. Meditate on scripture. Or you can even sing a song or sing a verse to get you in the right emotional and spiritual state of mind. And you can digest your food better 
and you can just keep the joy of the Lord in your heart and be grateful and thankful for what you're eating. All right, so let's talk about three more ways to naturally keep the weight off and maintain that weight loss forever. If you're still in the process of losing the weight, this is still going to help you, but it's going to help you to lose the weight faster. So number three is to establish a regular mealtime schedule, which means you're going to eat at the same time every day so that you can keep a good running metabolism. Studies show that when the mealtime schedule is regular, that contributes to metabolic regulation and body weight. So I eat two meals a day for weight loss, but let's say you eat three meals a day, but you eat it at the same time, and the last meal is before 6 p.m. If you're doing all that, then you are doing good. As soon as you see that it's starting to get dark outside, did you know? The body knows to slow down the metabolic rate. So for many people who eat late meals, the reason they don't feel ready for breakfast is that their stomach is being worked all night. It never gets rest. The stomach is exhausted and it's ill-equipped to handle the morning breakfast. When we are sleeping, the stomach should be completely done with all of its work of digestion. Now, thousands of people have testified to the benefits of eating two meals a day. Besides weight loss, the other benefits included no stinky breath in the morning, no unpleasant dreams disrupting their sleep at night. These are great things, but I want you to focus on not eating anything after 6 p.m. And you're going to have these same benefits. Number four, no snacking between meals. The digestive organs need three to four hours of rest between meals. Now, depending on the size of the meal, of course, it may even need five or six hours of rest. The idea here is you want to just drink water. Drink water before your meals. Uh, after your meals, but in between meals. So you don't want to eat food in between meals, not even a little snack. You want your stomach to get the rest that it needs so that it can build up enough of the digestive acids in order to handle the next meal that comes along. So you want to make sure you have that rest break. Number five. We want to be able to eat meals between 9 a.m. and 6 p.m. And that's because that's when it's light outside and our bodies are primed to digest the food. And like I mentioned earlier, when the sun goes down, when it starts to go down, our bodies know to slow down metabolism. And we are divinely designed to operate on the circadian rhythm. I know I covered a lot with you. And I do want to congratulate you on the weight loss that you have achieved, but I want to help you to keep it off. I want you to maintain the weight loss forever. So can you see how these steps, these strategies are going to help you as long as you are practicing these habits and you are being consistent? you will keep the weight off naturally. All right, my friends, all of these eating habits will not only help you to maintain your weight loss, but also if you're still losing weight, you still have more weight to go. Practice this now, put it in action today and you will lose weight permanently. Give it a try. All right, thank you for listening to 30 Pounds Down. Subscribe and tune in each week and share this episode with a friend that you know would love to hear what I've shared with you today. All right, peace to you and have a great day.